to my channel home with Kimberly today as you saw in the title I want to test out some of my freeze-dried and powdered food items a couple of them um, it's an excellent idea you know especially if you're going to be stocking a lot of something for your long-term food preps to test them make sure that you do like them really before you start to pile this stuff sky high so I've got my Hoosier Farms whole powdered milk that I want to test out today. Um, of course this can be used in recipes and stuff, but I have really been looking for a milk that I can make up and keep in the fridge for my son. Um, he loves milk and I'm really always looking for shelf stable milk. So this is one of the first shelf stable, stable milks that I purchased and I wanna try this out myself and see what I think. I may actually even do a milk comparison video because I have three or four different shelf stable milks on hand now. Um, so I may end up doing a comparison video on that at some point, but I'm gonna make up some of the whole milk powder today and refrigerate that and try it out. And then we are also going to make up this Thrive Life. This is freeze, freeze dried scrambled egg mix and see what I think of that. So. On the whole milk powder, it says on here to, it's on the other side, one and a half cups of powder plus one and a quarter quarts of water make a third gallon of liquid milk. So I'm cutting that in half on those measurements. So I've already got my water in my little cup here. I've got I'm using filtered water and then I'm going to do um, I'm going to half what they call for on the powder. So let me get the powder in there and mix that around and I'll bring you back. And real quickly, I just wanted to show you this. The best buy date on this Hoosier Hills milk is August 16th of 2023. Um, and I bought that, let's see, I bought it earlier this year. Did I buy it late last year or earlier this year? So this is like it might have even been last year. This is like good for like, well, the best buy date is almost a year, year and a half. And of course we know these products, um, if stored properly can go typically even longer than that, but that's a pretty good shelf life. Um, which is another reason why I chose the Hoosier Hills. I wanted something that would last longer. So let me get this mixed up and I'll bring you back. Okay. So I put my three quarter cup of whole milk powder in with the water and now I'm just going to give this a very good mix or whisk it up here get all of this incorporated all right trying to get that mixed in well it looks good let me smell it hmm I can it has a definite smell to it um, maybe a little different than regular milk. So, um, I'm going to put this into my mason jar and then put the lid on and shake it up really well and then refrigerate this. And I'm going to give it a taste. I have a feeling that I will probably like this just fine. I think the real test will be, um, will my son like it? So I think what I'll try to do after I taste it and make sure that it is, you know, if I think it tastes good, I might, when um, I give him some milk today, just give him this and see if he notices a difference. Knowing him, he probably will, but uh, we'll test it out. If I do get him to try it today, I'll let you all know what his opinion was on it. So let's get this in here. I'm gonna get the lid on here. Okay, so I've got my milk in the refrigerator and now I'm going to open up this Thrive Life uh, scrambled egg mix and it says on here, for one egg, whisk two tablespoons of mix with three tablespoons of water. So I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna do three eggs. So that'll be six tablespoons of mix and nine tablespoons of water. So let's get this opened up. So this is what it looks like opened up. Oh, there's supposed to be chunks of ham in here somewhere. 
according, well, according to the picture, it looks like there were, but maybe, maybe not. Maybe it's just showing you what you can add. I just, I thought there was going to be chunks of ham in here and cheese, but I think this is just a scrambled egg mix and you just add what you want. So I need six tablespoons. Okay, six tablespoons of that and nine tablespoons of water. Yes. So let me get the water in here and I'll bring you back. Okay, so here's what it looks like. And we are gonna mix this all together. You know, I wonder how this would be too if I added in, maybe next time I try this, I'll add in some of my milk powder. I wonder if that would make it taste even better, but. We're gonna get this all combined. So this is freeze-dried scrambled egg mix. So it's I mean, it does kind of look like eggs, scrambled eggs. Let me make sure I get all this off the bottom. Okay, so I've got that all mixed in there. And I am going to add some butter to my skillet. I usually cook everything on my cast iron skillets. So any kind of fat or, you know, if you're watching carbs, you could just spray some spray on there or use bacon grease or whatever. So we got that on there and I'm gonna pour on my scrambled egg mix. Move this around. I have this heat up a little too high. Moved around so it doesn't stick or burn. Well, it smells and looks thus far like scrambled eggs, which is great. And this is cooking up really fast because I had that heat cranked up a little, a little too much there. So I'm going to finish cooking this up, which isn't going to take me but a few more seconds, it looks like. And I'm going to plate this up and then give it a try. All right, you guys. So here is the finished product. And I realized I forgot to season this um, before I actually started cooking it up. I just sprinkled a tiny bit of salt and pepper on at the last minute. But you want to season this because the ingredients is just the whole eggs, yolk and dried egg whites. So, um, you know, fix it up like you normally would for scrambled eggs, which is a good reminder to also stockpile salt, pepper, all your spices, uh, just for that little extra comfort so you don't have to eat bland food all the time should, you know, the grid go down or you had to really rely on these stores for a while. Make sure you're storing your spices too. Now I am normally... I love ketchup on my scrambled eggs, and I will put some on here in a minute, but I know not everybody likes that, and I just want to taste the actual flavor of these eggs themselves. So let me do that for you. That's really good. I mean, it's eggs. It's scrambled eggs. So excellent. Um, I'm going to add ketchup to mine because I love ketchup on my eggs, but... Um, yeah, this is great if you just want, you know, to have some egg, uh, powdered eggs, freeze-dried eggs. This Thrive Life brand is the way to go. I'm not an affiliate or anything, but, um, I would recommend this. It's good, so I will get some more of this to stock up on. So I'm going to let my milk finish chilling, and then I'm going to take a drink of that and let you know what I think. Okay, so I've been letting this milk cool down in the fridge, and I just gave it another good shake off camera because a moment ago when I first did this and I was shaking it on camera I cracked it on the counter Turn this in and see what we think as far as just being able to straight up drink it I just want to see how it is I'm not going to do very much in case I hate it all right um it is early in the morning and I'm doing this now before my kids are up it's just easier so 
Um, I'm looking pretty rough right now, but let me go ahead and flip the camera around so you can see me drinking this and I'll let you know my All opinion. Right, guys, so give me some grace here. I don't have any makeup on. I just got up not long ago, but let me try this out for you and let you know what I think. It's not bad, but my son will pick up on this flavor right off the bat that it does have a different flavor um, other than your regular milk that you, you know, store-bought milk. Um, I can pick up on it and it's not off-putting to me, but I know right away he'll be like, oh, this is gross. <laughs> so this would not be one that I could serve to him to drink, but um, I would drink it or, you know, to use it in other things and recipes would be fine. All right, you guys, it's the next day um, and I hope you enjoyed my little demonstration there. So um, I would give the Thrive Life scrambled eggs and A plus. I thought those were delicious. You can't really tell, you know, that they're not just your normal, normal fresh uh, egg, scrambled eggs made from fresh eggs. Um, the milk was okay for me. Like I said, it's something that I would drink if I um, didn't have other options to drink, and it would definitely be useful for recipes. But for my son, <laughs> that's a no go. He would not drink that. So I'm gonna keep uh, testing out shelf stable milks um for him you know to have to drink so i am going to try to do more of these videos um testing out more freeze-dried foods and things of that nature so i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and share this video subscribe if you haven't subscribed and i will see you guys in the next video bye